हेलो प्रोग्रामर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल थिंक इन जावा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ द स्कोप्स प्रोवाइडेड बाय दी स्प्रिंग बीन्स एंड वी विल डिस्कस इफ यू वांट टू इंजेक्ट वन प्रोटोटाइप बीन इनटू द सिंगलटन बीन देन हाउ वी कैन अचीव इट एंड व्हाट आर देयर परफॉर्मेंस डिफरेंट इम्पैक्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस एक्सपीरियंस डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्कोप फॉर द बीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक प्रोटोटाइप सिंगलटन सेशन ग्लोबल सेशन एंड रिक्वेस्ट प्रोटोटाइप एंड सिंगलटन आर प्राइमरली यूज इन टू आवर एप्लीकेशन so one of the scenario occur suppose there is a singleton bean and if you want to inject a prototype bean into it then how you will do it so uh, anyone can of you and uh, can answer that uh, i will auto wire the prototype bean into the singleton bean but in this scenario the spring does not behave like this spring will instantiate the prototype bean into the ones when the container will in initialize the singleton bean so in in this scenario what we can do so spring providers a look a lookup method injection with the help of which we can inject any kind of scope uh, different kind of scoped beans into our singleton bean so let's see how we can do it we can do it by either the annotation or the by the xml file so in this example i will cover by the annotation there are certain condition which should be met whenever you do are using the lookup method so these are the like first is the bean class cannot be final and uh, pretty simple that is and second is the method annotated with at the rate a uh, lookup cannot be private static or final and the last one is that if a factory method or any method is associated or annotated with at the rate bean and returning a manual created instance then this bean does not work since the container is not in charge of creating the instance therefore cannot create a runtime generated subclass on the fly because what happens when the at the rate lookup is marked on the method then spring creates a dynamically generated class for that method so we have to use component scanning approach so let's look up with the help of an example so here you can see that in my application this is a controller this is the course controller so in the course controller this is the singleton so whenever the spring will initialize this controller will be up as a singleton class i have annotated one validator class at the rate auto wired into it you can see that validator is a kind of component which is a scope of prototype so whenever it will be injected into the course controller accordingly it should be it should produce a different instantiate at uh, uh, every time it hit, it hit to the course controller so suppose i have used this validator class into this get method and whenever the get method will be hit there should be a new instance of this validate validator so let's try it so first run our application and hit this url okay so you can he see here i have got the validator method with some hash code of the object so let's again hit this url okay here is the difference which i which i was talking about that i have get, i am getting the same hash code of the validator object it means spring have initialized it into once and it did not get the prototype instance of this validator method so what we can do to get the different instantiate of this validator method and also uh, we can try once again i am getting the same instance 
so we have to do at the rate lookup for the method injection so what i have done here i have just made a get validator method and made the lookup annotation into it and made some dummy implementation there is no mean of this implementation because at the time of in initialization of this controller spring will override this get validator method and provide the instance of the validator so you can also say that it is a kind of that it will uh, get the bean from the context so let's use this get validator now and again we will start our application so now when i hit the url you can say that we have got some hash code of the validator now we again hit the url okay this time now i get the difference instantiate of validator again we can hit again new so now it is working as expected it is a prototype bean and it is also getting each time a new instantiate also sometime we get what is the performance impact if we use direct uh, getting the bean from the application context instead of creating with the help of new operator so let's try it here you can see that i have created 20000 records of new validator i have just created new validator as with the help of new operator so we will uh, uh, we will measure this time and we will see how the new operator will perform in this scenario let's just start the application and hit the url okay code execution time is 294 that is millisecond okay now what we can do we can fetch this bean from the context and now we will note the time how much time it will be it will take so now i am getting the bean from the context and uh, it will get the bean 20000 uh, times and i will get the different instantiate every time like new operator so let's note the time again okay now it is taking the time approx 1551 let's again execute it for some better results again 831 so i think it is approximately uh similar to 600 approx so 600 to 700 and uh, we have noted for the with the help of new operator it was 231 so we can definitely say that with the help of new operator it is fast competitively getting from the application context but uh, it is depending upon your requirement because uh, sometime we need to inject some properties into our prototype bean so in that case we will use the context because uh, with the help of new you cannot inject your properties at the run time so you will use the context so here uh, you learn how to inject a uh, means different kind of scope bean into a singleton bean with the help of at the rate lookup so in the next video we will see we will see the different second method with the help of uh, uh, you can say that uh, proxies uh, we can also inject these kind of this kind of scenario so uh, that's for all this video 
and uh, if you like the video then please link uh, like share and subscribe thanks thanks for watching